The Sheriff's Office had the law enforcement contract with Caltrain and San Fran since 2002 with the JPB. Uh, we're responsible for all law enforcement services for Caltrain and San Fran. We investigate all kinds of different crimes that occur on the rails, on the buses. We patrol the stations, the right of way, the bus stops, all along the uh, Caltrain corridor in you know, San Francisco, San Mateo, and Santa Clara County. We're responsible for all crimes that occur on Caltrain and San Fran, and that includes crimes against persons, you know, robberies, assaults, things of that nature. And and then all property crimes, thefts, vehicle burglaries. We also uh, investigate all the uh, fatalities and uh, suicides associated with uh, both transit agencies. In the last uh, few years, there's been a lot of talk about uh, transit system safety and how transit systems throughout the United States are a soft target and a potential target for terrorist activity. We have three bomb dogs that work in the unit. Uh, they're explosive ordnance detection dogs. They're trained on a variety of different odors. They're deployed through the system every day. Their handlers take them out and make sure that the stations and the trains are safe. We have two bomb techs that are assigned here, uh, myself and Deputy Kyle McDevitt who's assigned to the opposite team, so there's always a bomb tech on duty. As far as training for all the guys that work in the Transit Police Bureau, everybody's mandated to take the railway worker protection training that is offered to contractors and employees that work on the rails. We do an annual emergency response drill with the Transit America Services, ourselves, the Office of Emergency Services is involved, as well as other first responders up and down the Caltrain corridor. This includes other police agencies, and fire departments. Everybody in the unit is mandated to go to crisis intervention training. We deal with a lot of people in crisis every day. We've had a lot of saves. It helps everybody who is assigned to this unit gain a different perspective. When someone is in crisis and they are at that point where they don't see another option, it helps for the guys to have been through that, to be on the same page and kind of like relate to what they're feeling and be able to provide another option to be able to help them out or you know get them to a place where they can get the help that they need. We work close Closely with our partners in Caltrain and Samtrans to keep that on-time performance high. We understand that there are delays that are necessary due to law enforcement uh, activities, but we try to minimize those by, for train instances, single tracking or building bus bridges to get passengers moving. We try to keep the interest of the district and the agencies in mind when we're conducting our law enforcement investigations. The lack of housing in the area, the salaries of people that have increasingly gotten bigger and bigger, and the rent prices that have gone up. Uh, a lot of people find themselves unable to afford housing in the area, which has led to a lot of homeless issues. Uh, we see that uh, along the right of way, we see a lot more uh, homeless people at our bus stops and uh, train stations. We see a lot more encampments as well. The San Mateo County Sheriff's Office Transit Bureau Special Enforcement Team, or SET, was put into place in order to bring awareness uh, to the public uh, about rail safety and also bus safety. There's actually been a 50% increase in HICEP or high intensity special enforcement uh, to date and it's been in place to deter and educate the public on the importance of uh, railway safety and gr at the grade crossings. Educate students at local schools on the importance of safety uh, when using public transportation. The SET team also responds to crime trends to provide high visibility and limit criminal activity uh, in those particular areas. SET also provides educational and safety courses for various uh, allied law enforcement agencies, uh, the transit district, customer service departments, uh, conductors, and also for security officers. SET responds to pending calls for service, which reduces the response times and increased coverage for Caltrain and Samtrans, and serves as a force multiplier. Uh, for the services that need to be provided. The SET team actively works with the uh, local homeless advocacy groups and uh, mental health uh, services to uh, relocate homeless individuals living in the uh, encampment or uh, Caltrain right away. The uh, SET team attends uh, weekly meetings held by the San Francisco Mayor's Office geared towards uh, homeless prevention and community development uh, to relocate displaced uh, individuals suffering from uh, homelessness. Since the inception of the SET team, homeless living along the right of way has been greatly reduced. So I'm proud to say that I'm the lieutenant in charge of the transit police and I think I have the best job in the sheriff's office. Um, I have the best staff in the sheriff's office, the most highly trained deputies and sergeants that I could ask for. And not only highly trained um, specifically for their jobs, but personally as well. I interview each and every one of them. Um, I make sure that their communication skills are of the highest and that they have empathy and sympathy and that they can handle all the interesting things that happen in Caltrain and Samtrans every day. We're considered part of the Samtrans Caltrain 
family and um, we enjoy that very much. Our deputies are full of compassion, um, their commitment and integrity to the Caltrain mission, to the SAM transmission, and to the Sheriff's Office is um, impeccable. And again, I'm honored to be here. Thank you. We want to make sure that everybody who rides the buses and trains gets to where they're going safely. We do our best to police the rails, police the right-of-way, and make sure that the transit system stays safe.